Hi, my name is Kaylin Mayo, and today I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Doyle here at Monomoy High School, who has been an English teacher here for many years. Let's see what she did before choosing this career path. Hello, and we are here with Mrs. Doyle today. So what did you want to do before you started teaching? I wanted to be an actress. I got a job at an acting school in New York. Oh, nice. Very famous one, American Academy of Dramatic Arts. But about three or four years in, I started to realize that uh, maybe I'm not cut out for the kind of rejection that actors and actresses go through all the time. I then decided to go to Italy. And Italy is where I said, okay, I'm really gonna study voice really going to give myself 100% to voice. So why are you no longer pursuing that? I wrecked my voice almost permanently in Italy. I came, finally came back to the United States and it just I kind of gave up singing as a career. Why did you want to start teaching? I always used to play teacher as a child because my father was a teacher. So I thought, you know, I've always loved English. I've always loved words, books, writing, poetry. I love all that. And um, I thought, maybe I should try to become an English teacher. So then I thought, professor. So then I decided, uh, let's go for a PhD. So I got into Tufts University, PhD program, and they were gonna pay for it completely, full ride. So I, I moved to Massachusetts, met my, got, met my husband. I'm, I'm about a year into my PhD program, and I just was like, this is not me. And so I dropped out of the PhD program and went into just a master's in English program. And then it was time to look for a teaching job. Um, so uh, Chatham opened. They had an opening in Chatham for a year. It was just a long-term sub. So we moved to the Cape. What classes do you teach? I have, well, I have three senior classes. So three of my senior classes were half year. So three senior classes last semester, uh, two were world lit, one was like dystopian. This semester, two are sports and lit and film, and one is world lit again. I have, I had a creative writing elective, and then I've had only one class that's lasting all year, my wonderful honor sophomore English class. How long have you been teaching for? Um, September of 1991. I, we moved to the Cape, to Brewster. I, got, I started teaching in Chatham High School, and it's been a great ride ever since. What are your favorite memories from teaching? There's several, but when they see things for the first time. And this is what's so great about teaching is, I know how great a movie or a book is, but then the first time, you know, these kids see it or read it, and they're like, whoa, and you're like, yes! So you show Dead Poet Society, and the kids are they love, they love it. And the first time after I showed the Dead Poet Society, the kids just got up on the desks. They stood up on the desks. I did not tell them to do that. And they did that. It was just so beautiful and wonderful. I love it. Um, when somebody writes a poem and it's so magnificent, it's so beautifully worded and like it touches my heart. I even like might even cry, you know. So those are the great moments. Mrs. Doyle was finally able to find a career that she loved and was able to pursue after many different career paths. 